Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your love reading for October 2021. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sagittarius. Hope you guys are doing well. What's up? If this one resonates, the link to the extended reading will be below. If this one doesn't hit home, check out your moon or your rising sign. All right, let's do it. This is for Sagittarius, October love. All right, cards have been nice and shuffled. All right, let's look at the past. What do we have? Six of Wands might be connecting with a Leo. What's going on right now? What's the current energy? The Page of Wands. What's on your person's mind that you're thinking about or connecting with? The Moon, Pisces energy, Major Arcana. All right, how does this person view you, Sagittarius? Seven of Pentacles. How do they feel about you deep down? The Four of Wands. How does this person want to move forward? What are their plans moving forward? The King of Swords, Aquarius energy. So if you're on a break from someone or you broke up with someone, you want to see how the ex feels, this would be how they feel about reconciling. If you're already connecting with them, this is just their plans moving forward. What's hidden that you don't see? More Aquarius. You've got the star card there, Major Arcana. What's your advice from Spirit, Sag? It's the Hermit. Virgo energy. Let's scoot you down so you can see your cards. All right, what's the outcome in love? From now through the end of October, you've got the Nine of Cups. Isn't this deck pretty? I love the artwork on this. I do. It's gorgeous. Okay. Let's keep going there. Oh, yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay. <clears throat> All right. You guys, do me a favor. Like, share, and subscribe. Please, please, please. Um, Anything that you need to know about the reading, my channel, all of that is in that little arrow below in the description box. Again, that's where the extended reading will be or if you want to book a private reading. Thank you guys for all your support. I really, really appreciate it. I love what I do. I've needed a little bit of a break. I've slowed down a little bit just because <clears throat> all that water in my chart, Sag. I tend to get a little bit emotionally drained with these readings. <laughs> and just everything going on in my life. So I needed to take kind of slow the pace a little bit. So thank you guys for supporting my channel and for understanding all of that. I th I'm really thinking about trying to pick a day um, during the week to go live, you know, maybe like Thursdays and just do a quick like weekend reading or something. I just want to add something to the channel because I know you guys are probably getting bored. All right, Light Seers Tarot to clarify. Let's see what's coming in. What does Sag need to know about love? All right, in the past, we have a Six of Wands. Why? What is it? The Five of Wands. What else? And the Emperor, Aries Energy. So success, right, with that Six of Wands. Somebody may have had an ego a little bit. This Emperor can be a husband, a boss. Not that, I mean, maybe some of you are dealing with a boss, but I'm just saying, like, the person that you probably were connecting with, that emperor's very strong energy, the divine masculine. But with that five of wands, I feel like um, you could have been dealing with somebody that was quite busy, like a lot going on, successful, driven, that kind of thing. But maybe it caused some arguments or some drama here. Because right now you've got the page of wands. What's this about? Ace of wands and the moon. Yeah, so with that page of wands right now, <clears throat> communication, somebody wants to talk about this here. There's a lot of heat or passion between you and someone here. But with the moon, I think this is fear, or I think that this is somebody that's closed off right now, but it's not because of you. It's because of something going on external to your relationship. You got the moon showing here twice, which, you know, does talk about emotion, cycles, that kind of thing, but it can be some fear or anxiety. I, I think that you're connecting with somebody who's quite anxious, but they're into you and they want to communicate, hey, it's not you, Sag, it's what's going on at work or something within my family, something like that. What's on their mind is the moon, so Pisces energy, yeah, Knight of Pentacles, yep, and the Magician. So that Knight of Pentacles, this is somebody that is building something for their future. Things are very slow. They're being very cautious. Something to do with work. I think that this person's thinking, wow, you know, I've really seen closed off to Sag. Doesn't matter who this is to you. I mean, you might even be at a distance from this person. Bottom line, somebody's got some anxiety that you're dealing with. They're still very attracted to you. But they've got, I think, work. Maybe they travel for work. So if you're with someone, Sag, or even if you're on a break from someone and you're like, what the hell's going on? They don't seem into me, this and that. 
they're manifesting here something like with work money career something like that and they've got a lot of worries with that moon energy what do they think of you seven of pentacles with the hierophant in reverse and the two of cups so this doesn't necessarily mean it's true this is just how they view you or what they think of you that you're waiting you've put time you've put energy you've put you know all of it into a situation here and now you're just waiting you're kind of taking stock of this those of you that are in a long-term commitment or married they they view you as possibly um not wanting to like move forward like contemplating divorce or a breakup but deep down they know you won't do it because you've got this very strong connection with them this is a soulmate this is just how they view you they're worried that's what this is. They're worried you're either going to break up with them, you're not going to talk to them again, you're going to divorce them, whatever it is. It's different for everybody. Because the connection with you is kind of at a halt or it's moving slowly. But right here with that Ace of Wands, they're into you. They're attracted to you. This is somebody that's trying to balance a lot, but they're worried that you're like, what the hell? I'm not sticking around for this. In their emotions, they're feeling the Four of Wands. Why? Because of justice. Yeah, some of you are married to this person. What about justice and the Four of Wands? Yeah, the death card in reverse. See, they're not leaving. They're not going anywhere. Emotionally, they feel stable. They, they do want a new beginning here with you, Sag. And y'all, keep in mind, the rules could be reversed. But I am reading for you. <clears throat> but justice is they want to do the right thing here. They want to bring balance to the situation. Very important decision here. For those of you that aren't married to this person, you're just dating or whatever, and <clears throat> you've kind of, you want to take it to the next level, like engagement or moving in together, getting married, that kind of thing. They're viewing you as, oh, this is never going to happen. Sagittarius is always busy. They're kind of putting everything at a standstill. But deep down, they want that. There's something going on also, Sag, with this person, like a project or a family situation, something at work, something like that that isn't complete yet. They need to complete something first before you guys can then move on to a new phase. How do they plan on moving forward? King of Swords, why? Typically Aquarius energy, yeah, King of Pentacles. Two kings here. Success, stability, loyal is the king of pentacles. He's a high achiever as well. He, she, it's just energy. This person plans on having a conversation with you. That king of swords is very direct. Pretty good communicator. They're both in the upright, which is what I was getting here. Their intentions seem to be, you know, they're loyal. But they're going to speak their truth. And it's about, with this king of pentacles, their money, their success, something that they're trying to build. But also keep in mind, this King of Swords is delivering that communication and it's truthful and it's very to the point. What is it about? It's about the King of Pentacles and love is very stable. As somebody who wants to get married, wants to be around, wants to nurture and take care. Very responsible, a little bit slow energy with things, but it's because he's cautious and he's all about commitment. So those of you that are like, ugh. You know, this person's never going to propose or we're never going to take this to the next level or <clears throat> whatever. You can expect communication about moving it to the next level. Too many cards fell out. And they're also going to tell you, you know, how like something, some sort of communication here about how important success is to them and achievement, drive. This King of Pentacles, you know, makes good money and their career is very important. Now, what's coming that you don't see? You've got the star, Aquarius energy and the two of wands, a decision. I, f I feel like this is with your person. That star energy is being in the spotlight in some way. But it's also manifesting something that you're really hoping will continue to grow. Something that, you know, you have faith in. You're ma that you're manifesting with the two of wands. What's this uh, star with the two of wands and the hidden factors? What is this? Yeah, see, king of wands. That's you, Sagittarius energy, male or female, but also Leo. Look at the line in the back. This is taking action. Your person, man, 
Could I be a Sag? What do I have, Sag? I think I have a North Node, Sagittarius. But all this king energy, and again, it doesn't matter if it's male or female, super mature, super confident, takes action. Again, with the wands, yeah, there's that attraction and finding you irresistible, both of you. But also keep in mind the wands are, you know, creativity and career. This person's, again, very much going to be in the spotlight. But they're so worried that the time they haven't been able to give to you is going to make you just bounce. I don't think it is. The two of cups, but... This person may have to travel for work. Some of you are involved with somebody who, um, and this could be you as well, but in the hidden factors, somebody that's going to have to travel, like, like PR work, music, acting, like something like that I'm getting, or, you know, either you or them. But your advice is the hermit. So spirits advising the hermit. What's this hermit about? Ooh, your cards want to jump, but too many keep falling out. What's this hermit about? Why is the advice the hermit for Sag and love? Yep, the Ace of Pentacles. There's something that is going to be discovered. Because remember that hermit is taking some time, you know, secluding, figuring out. He's researching. It's very wise energy, very slow energy. Kind of pulls away for, for a little bit on his own and really kind of in his thoughts because of the Ace of Pentacles. So again, there's that seed. And look at all the root on it. It's, this is all about growth. It's, it's a gift from the universe. It could really grow into a Ten of Pentacles, which of course is stability for a very long time. There's something of growth here, not just in your love life with this person, but also in their life, like separate of the connection. And they're telling you there could be some time where you're on your own a little bit. But it's not because they don't want to be with you. In fact, they're worried that, you know, the time they're having to spend on this, that you're going to just leave. And Spirit's telling you, no, there is growth here with the Ace of Pentacles. There is a new beginning. Now, the outcome is this Nine of Cups. So what's this about? Nine of Cups for Sagittarius. Yeah, and the Page of Pentacles. Again, look how big the pentacle is and that page of pentacles typically capricorn energy can be anybody a student of the deck he's learning something he wants to know everything he can about that pentacle because that pentacle is about to get planted and look it's right on top of a wish and manifesting this is fine i you know for those of you that this is resonating for me this feels like a lot of uncertainty on both of your parts but it's because something really big is coming in for your person and therefore probably for you too. So the worry or the anxiety or the drama, there may have even been some arguments here in the past. I'm not worried about it. Your person, and again, it could be you, is about to really embark on something beautiful and good money. I mean, something here is very, there's a lot of success here, but the love life portion of it takes off probably more towards um, beginning to middle of November. A wish here. What's this Nine of Cups with the Page of Pentacles for Saj and love? Yeah, and then there you are, the Knight of Wands. Travel, movement forward. Again, I think even moving into November, your person's going to be a little bit in and out with their energy. But man, they sure are worried about you taking off, and they don't want you to. They just want to complete something here first. There's a lot of passion here with this person. So those of you that are like, what the hell's up with Romeo or Sally? Well, Romeo or Sally, they're just trying to kind of get their stability together here. This success is very important to this person. And the time that they've had to spend away from you or the attention they haven't been able to give you is worrying them. Give me one more card. Why do they view Sagittarius as the Two of Cups? Why do they think of Sag as the Two of Cups? And the Seven of Wands is so a little bit guarded. But the Seven of Wands is also defending something, you know, that you want. There's that fire energy. <clears throat> and in this deck, I mean, look at her. She's kind of like, yeah, I'm just over here doing my own thing. All those wands are at her. And she's just like, hmm, I'm, I'm going to walk my own path. This is how they view you. And it's because of that Two of Cups, the relationship. They know deep down like, they're worried a little bit, but they when they really look at it and, and look at you and the relationship or the connection, they know you're not going anywhere. 
you might be doing some yoga through October. This is a strong connection. And when it comes down to it, you're going to fight here for what you want. All right, an extended reading. We'll take a look and see how your person feels about you, Sagittarius. We're going to dive, we're going to spy, and we're even going to stalk a little bit. So I will see you guys over there on the extended reading. I love you hard. Love me hard back. We'll speak soon. Take care.